never stops evolving, and these are its most crucial stepping stones so far. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 milestones in cinema. Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? For this list, we're taking a look at movies that broke new ground on a technical, critical, or cultural level, forever changing the medium. And we will be open for business. Number 10, the first billion dollar movie, Titanic. I'm Jack Dawson. Rules do it, big hitter. I have to get you to write that one down. To date, quite a few films have grossed over a billion dollars at the worldwide box office. In 1997, though, a billion dollar blockbuster was completely unheard of. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> Nobody ever would have predicted that the film to reach this milestone would be James Cameron's Titanic, which had run ridiculously over budget with numerous production delays. It's absurd. It's a ship. Regardless, the most expensive movie of the time became the highest grossing movie of the time, too. I'm flying. In addition to this financial milestone, Titanic also won 11 Academy Awards, tying with Ben-Hur for the all-time Oscar record. Promise me now, Rose. And never let go of that promise. I promise. Number nine, pioneering cinematography and editing, The Great Train Robbery. As primitive as it might seem, this just over 10 minute long silent film is to cinematic evolution what the wheel is to technological evolution. Edwin S. Porter's The Great Train Robbery was the first time innovations like multiple camera angles and composite editing were utilized to tell a thrilling, flowing narrative. Audiences were so spellbound that they literally thought the picture might jump out at them. It left everyone on edge until the final shot, as a bandit fired directly at the camera. Number 8. Industrial Light and Magic's Visual Effects and Merchandising Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. Luke, the Force will be with you. This iconic space opera changed cinema in more ways than we can count. Stop that ship! Blast them! Above all else, Star Wars ushered in a renaissance of trailblazing special effects. For a long time, there were many stories people deemed too complex to put to film. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Through Star Wars, however, George Lucas made us believe that robots could have personalities, spaceships could travel at light speed, and any idea could become reality. An analysis of the plans provided by Princess Leia has demonstrated a weakness in the battle station. His film was the launching point for Industrial Light and Magic, a company which continues to bring unfilmable stories to life even today. We will then crush the rebellion with one swift stroke. Equally important is what Star Wars did for franchising, making the merchandising aspect central to profit making. Well, I was gonna let you get all the credit and take all the rewards. Hey, I knew that was more to you than money. Number seven, 3D becomes mainstream, Avatar. Well, who'd you expect, numb nuts? Speaking of unfilmable stories, James Cameron toiled with Avatar for decades until the technology finally caught up with his vision. This is a place for prayers to be heard and sometimes answered. Cameron immersed audiences in a living, breathing world, which was only made more tangible thanks to 3D effects. Yeah, baby, I got this. Oh, shit. While 3D had been around for years, Avatar was one of the first mainstream films in some time that really explored how it could make the audience part of a cinematic experience. <laughs> Although many blockbusters since have jumped on the 3D bandwagon, few have been as effective as Cameron's record-breaking moneymaker. That was pretty impressive. Number six, a whole new way of filmmaking, Citizen Kane. Wrong. 
all knew this one had to make the list. It's arguably the greatest movie ever made, after all. What were the last words he said on Earth? Maybe he told us all about himself on his deathbed. Yeah, maybe he didn't. But it isn't just the story, characters, and themes that make Citizen Kane so great. It's the groundbreaking way those elements are presented. If I hadn't been very rich, I might have been a really great man. Orson Welles' use of music, sound, deep focused cinematography, and non-linear storytelling told from multiple perspectives introduced audiences to a method of filmmaking unlike anything they'd ever seen. There's only one person in the world to decide what I'm gonna do, and that's me. Watching Citizen Kane, you can't help but feel grateful for its enduring innovations many of us take for granted nowadays. Maybe Rosebud was something he couldn't get or something he lost. Anyway, it wouldn't have explained anything. I don't think any word can explain a man's life. Number five, Hollywood epics are here to stay, gone with the wind. The year 1939 was in itself a milestone for film, delivering more perennial classics in the entire history of cinema. Sir, you are no gentleman. And you, miss, are no lady. Oh. But don't think that I hold that against you. The most significant of the bunch was Gone with the Wind. And God is my witness. I'll never be hungry again. Never before had an American epic been larger in scale, grander in romance, and poetic in visuals. Scavengers aren't wasting any time. Winner of eight Oscars and still the biggest movie ever after inflation, Gone with the Wind convinced studios for generations to come that big budget epics were well worth the investment. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Without its impact, movies would feel so much smaller and more limited. After all, tomorrow is another day. Number four, the first summer blockbuster, Jaws. <laughs> Believe it or not, there was actually a time when the summer movie season was non-existent. <laughs> Some costly films rarely even received a wide release opening. Summer and movie distribution would never be the same again after Jaws. What do you got there? Listen, we had a shark attack at South Beach this morning, man. The first movie to make over $100 million, Jaws had people across America rushing to the theater and avoiding the beach like hell. I'll catch this bird for you, but it ain't gonna be easy. It's bad fish. Not like going down the pond chasing bluegills or tommy cards. Although it's easy to complain about all the stinkers that come out every summer, movies like Jaws make us thankful summer blockbusters exist at all. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Number three, the first fully digitally animated feature-length film, Toy Story. Howdy, my name is Woody, and this is Andy's room. In the mid-90s, almost nobody thought a movie made entirely with computers was practical. But that didn't stop Pixar from changing animation forever with Toy Story. You are a toy! You weren't the real Buzz Lightyear, you're, a, uh, you're an action figure! John Lasseter's film demonstrated all the potential digital animation possessed, with breathtaking attention to detail. To infinity and beyond! Where the environments in most hand-drawn animations looked a little too polished, Toy Story went the extra mile to create a more convincing world. Buzz, will you get up here and give me a hand? <laughs> Digital animation has since become the new norm, making Toy Story the most influential animated film since, well, the next film on our list. Hey, Buzz! You're flying! This isn't flying, this is falling with style. Number two, the first full-length animated feature, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Where most people believed Pixar was taking a risk making Toy Story, everybody believed Disney was insane for making Snow White. Oh, how silly of me. I'm Snow White. Snow White, the princess. Yes. The world was convinced that cartoons were good for brief escapism, but that was the extent of the art form. Why, there's seven little chairs. Must be seven little children. And 
from the look of this table, seven untidy little children. If there's one thing Walt Disney was known for, though, it was proving naysayers 100% wrong. Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? Snow White was instantly hailed as a classic, bringing Disney an honorary Oscar and several miniature statuettes. Almost 80 years later, animation is one of the most profitable and marketable genres in all of film. Before we advance to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Oh, your name's Chihiro. Yes, ma'am. What a pretty name. It's... it's a dinosaur. Uh -huh. <laughs> you did. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. Intermediate vectors detached. Rutus to the MCP. I want to get rid of this dead weight and catch a transport beam to the game domain. Wonderful pals are always hard to find. Number one, the first talkie feature, The Jazz Singer. Some folks have none. No film that's come out in the past several decades would be complete without one simple fundamental quality. You ain't heard nothing yet. Sound. Wait a minute, I tell you. You ain't heard nothing. In an age of silent pictures, The Jazz Singer gave cinema a voice and proved that feature length talkies were the wave of the future. Like every other film on this list, The Jazz Singer was a game changer that went against the status quo. It just goes to show that great art doesn't come from following the unspoken rules, it comes from defying them. Do you agree with our list? You didn't earn the knowledge for yourselves, so you don't take any responsibility. What movies changed the way you look at cinema? For more informative top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I'm going to get home. It's late. I'm in for it as it is.